Good morning. What is happening? What's going on? It is a beautiful morning out here. Sunny California. It's a uh, morning morning sun's coming up over here. Welcome to today's Tech Talk Tuesday with your host, the Kid Kaiser. Wait. This was filmed on Tuesday. It's gonna show on Wednesday. Welcome to today's Tech Talk Wednesday, where uh, we'll be talking all things today. Wheels. All right, in all seriousness, figured today we'll highlight some wheels. Uh, yesterday with the video about tire pressure, I know you guys are pumped on the uh, on the air pressure gauge, and we'll we'll cover the whole gamut of uh, of wheels today. For wheel options, we've got the 303, and we have the Zip 30 course option. Our race pony is the is the 303 carbon Mac Daddy does it all. Both we use throughout the season, just depending on uh, where we're going, what we're doing, depending on the race course. The 30 course, we've forever run the, the 303 as a, an awesome race wheel, but we really are starting to dig the, the 30 course as well. It's lightweight, aluminum. Yeah, it's just a super solid wheel. I run it, uh, I always take a, a set or two to every race in, in both tire selections. Both wheels, we have the through axle option, which is super cool. We can run uh, 12 by 100 on the front, quick release on the front, 12 by 100 on, or uh, 15 by 100 on the front. Uh, you can run a quick release rear, 12 by 135 rear, and a 12 by 142, which is what we use. These wheels are super convertible. I can pull the end cap off, look at that, slap it on, um, and I can put a quick release on this and run it on my single speed, or I can um, you know swap to a 12 by 135. I have a 12 by 135 spaced crux that I use for training and gravel grinding and all that kind of stuff. We can interchange these wheels or these hubs, uh, yeah, interchange the wheel on any bike we want. Run the specialized tracer tire on both sets. This is one of my most liked tires. Very fast rolling, kind of small block, a uh, little bit of a tapered front to it. Good traction, works really well, grass, dirt, everything. Uh, it's not a mud tire, but, uh, but works really, really well. Out back with the cassette, we run exclusively the 1132 cassette. So, yeah, 303. One more thing on rotors. We run 140 millimeter rotor, front and rear. Light, uh, as minimal as we can. I really like it just because there's no adapters to run a bigger rotor. The crux comes, you know, intended to be run with a, a flush uh, 140 rotor. So I don't have to add any extra little spacers um, or adapter kits or anything. I like it simple, bolted up, post mount, boom easy to go to on, on a cross bike you really don't and even on my gravel bike too uh, when we're doing the 100 mile like lost and found big climbs big descents um, where we're on the brakes with good brake modulation or with good brake um, awareness and control on my part I've never had a problem with that uh, so one 140s across the board the way to go we run the the new center line the most current center line rotor so it works really really well quiet uh, simple good good power 30 course uh, aluminum wheel. I run it on my single speed. Uh, when I'm racing at home, I'll take it to the, the circuits and have it um, on my backup bike. Also take a spare set of these to the pit. Uh, sometimes I will run this. I have raced on a few super rocky tracks this year and we will run this. It's just one less thing to worry about. If we accidentally hit something hard, um, it's, it's gonna stand up. So it's nice to have it. Nice, robust, bulletproof wheel. This is 100% my go-to wheel in the tubeless version for all the gravel grind stuff, training at home on the road, uh, run it with like a big 32 pavement tire, and it's tubeless, I don't have to worry about it. And if I'm racing, again, lost and found or any gravel race with a big fat 38 or 42 tubeless ready tire, I think it's money. This is an awesome, awesome wheel. I think it kind of goes underrated because it's aluminum, but it's competitive with carbon. So the, the 30 course wheel is a bitchin bitchin wheel set for today's tech talk tuesday and on to the daily vlog here to start the day at kinetic make some stuff happen have some fun work on some bikes drive some bikes enjoy the day do it Some sick new E-Tap with the arrow fly. We'll just block that out. 
Boom. Aerofly bar. E tap. Get it. Sick. I've got a six o'clock appointment. It's now 5.40. Uh, appointment is 25 minutes away. Yeah, probably gonna be a little late for this one. It always happens to me out here. And the whole day went by and I didn't film anything today. So we're gonna do it. Let's go. Always three minutes late. Three to five minutes late, always. It's bad, it's really bad, I need to leave earlier. My clock runs five minutes fast in the car and I somehow am still five minutes late. It's not a good thing. All right, that's it. Tech talk today, what is the winner? But that said, over and out.